The Skrulls are a formidable villain making their way to cinemas in Captain Marvel. But are you, are you, are you being paid by Captain Marvel to... Did you know, Mason? Oh. I'm in the middle of a paid bit. Did oh, I? Okay, right, sure. Carry no, on. No, this is not paid. This is not the first time the Skrulls have invaded Earth. Oh, what, 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 what? Uh, the invasion of the Super Skrulls is an episode of the Fantastic Four from the 60s. There was an animated series... Uh, it's not still running for the Fantastic Four <laughs> right. from that era. 7,000 episodes. <laughs> and it's, you know, it's pretty basic in sure, yeah. tone and mm-hmm. characterization and yeah, they animation. Basic. And, uh, the opening sequence, mm. it's like, they're the Fantastic Four. Fantastic. Watch out, villains, for these Fantastic Four people. Four Fan- of them. Fantastic. <laughs> and they fight a weird miscolored Galactus yeah. and a giant... Doctor Doom, yeah, and 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 some like gigantic knights in armor that are clattering at him with like little halberds and little bloody jousting sticks and whatever. Do you wish you had seen that in this episode? Yes. Yeah. Why is Doctor Doom so big? So it starts with some scrolls. One of them's called Muscle Corf or Muscle Croft. I didn't catch I you the name. But all right. They say it like four times, and I felt like it was different Muscle every time. Muscle Croft. Okay. Is he the king of the? Is he the emperor? I think of he's the, the king. One of them is the king, and the other one's one of Muscle them is his Croft. minion. Yeah. Is the, look? There's the Scroll King and the Scroll Minion, and it starts off. They're on the Scroll Planet, yep. which I believe is called Scrollos, but maybe it isn't. Uh, Scrollos. See, it could be a joke, but I think it's, it's actually called Scrollos. Great. Anyway. I'm assuming they're on the planet Skrullos, yep. and they're just watching the Fantastic Four on a screen. Yes, they're all the Fantastic Four are just standing somewhere. Yeah, they really and they're are. Like, We're going to send a deadly ray to destroy the Fantastic Four. Let's do it now. <laughs> we'll watch them on the television, and they push the button, and they're like, "Oh no, there's an invisible force field that's bending back our rays. We can't kill the Fantastic Four. Oh, they've the, got the us invisible again. girl did it. Yeah, but she barely moves, and they don't react. And then when they actually cut to them later on Earth, they're not talking about... They're not like, hey, remember that? <laughs> remember we felt that weird ray on us? I don't know what that bit was. Yeah. But that's when they reveal their new great weapon. Mm. We've seen it in comics since. It's a pretty significant foe. The Super Scroll. Yes, there we go. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And I mean, he, he arrives as dramatically as you might imagine the Super Scroll would. The scientist pushes a button on the wall and, a, and a, the section of the wall opens and a little wooden gangplank sort of <laughs> like drips out. Yep. And then he arrives on the gangplank. He's just been sitting in a wall for a while, That's I guess. Right, yeah. And muscle crawled. Yes. It's like, what's so good about this guy? And he's like, well, he's got... Well, check out these powers. Watch this. See how far he can stretch. This is my, fa- this is my favorite moment. <laughs> it's the because best. It's, because he's like, watch him stretch a million miles and, <laughs> and go into the ocean and get a fish. And he goes in the ocean and he comes get, gets the fish and he comes back and then he stretches his arm <laughs> out and he gives the king a fish. Luckily, Muscle Dwarf is impressed, though. And he's yeah. like, oh, shit, this guy's incredible. And yeah. then he shows him more of his, of his powers. He lifts an 100-ton cosmic generator that powers the planet. Yep. And I'm thinking, don't pick that up. Like, that's powering the planet. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing? Leave it. Yeah. It's probably got wires connected to yeah. it. Yeah. Just we cut to the hospital and the, the scroll doctors are like, oh, everybody's life support switched off. I don't know what's happening. This is bad. He's also got uh, f- fire powers, obviously. And then my be- here's my favorite part of it. <laughs> yeah. He goes, where's the scroll gone? He's gone. <laughs> is it run away or something? I don't understand. Your scroll's no good. Where's it? Where's he gone? And I'm like, you didn't. You haven't twigged at this point. <laughs> he's got the powers of the Fantastic Four. You this idiot. Is, he's she's turned invisible because it's the invisible woman's. He's an idiot. So the Super Scroll promises to go to Earth so that the Emperor can can rule rule Earth because he wants yes. it for whatever reasons. Uh-huh. I don't know why. Yeah. Uh, fishing presumably because that yeah. impresses him. <laughs> the Fantastic Four are in a department store and Mrs. Fantastic yes. says, "I just love fashion." <laughs> she just loves fashion. That's her opening line. And reads like, "Well, you can body stand here, mate, but I'm gonna go check out the books." Because I'm smart and you're dumb. He's Why'd also, they get married? He's also holding a pipe. He is holding... Because that's the... Oh, the golden era. We can just smoke indoors. I don't know. You can smoke a pipe indoors. Mm. But, like, I guess in the 60s, she was just an idiot. Yeah, I think she was. Just, was yeah. she just arm candy for Reed I Richards? I guess so, yeah. Well, she doesn't do much until she does the most important thing. Yeah. They kind of stand her back for a lot of this. She could have stopped a lot of this she real early on. She could have just snuck in and snapped his neck. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyway, Johnny says something along the lines of, it must be a gas to work at this store. Because of chicks. Because of chicks. There's so many chicks. I thought chicks. he was going to say, like, because of all the great, wonderful items on sale. No. But he's like, chicks, baby, that's what I love. Yeah. yeah. The thing's also being a prick. He's like, you got a bowling ball big enough for me? And they're like, yeah, we've got one. And then he's like, crush. And he yeah. crushes a bowling ball. Don't do that. Are you going to pay for that? What are you doing? Yeah. The guy was helping you. He was trying his hardest. It's not his fault that you, you can crush, like, 20 tonne. 
They don't have that. Yeah. They don't have a bowling ball for that. Get Reed Richards to make one out to of a compressed a diamond ball. or some shit. Also, the thing could just hold a bowling ball. <laughs> That's true. Like it's a tennis ball. You just throw it. <laughs> It's irrelevant to him if it's got little holes in it. Anyway, cut to Times Square. An alien oh. spaceship has landed. Yep. It is the Super Skrull himself. He decides to plant the Imperial flag this of is the my Skrull. Fa- this is my favourite bit. It's just he- a red flag, first of all. First of all, it's a red flag. This whole thing's a bloody red flag, if you, you know. ask me. Oh! Anyway, but he, he, he gets his little flag... Even though he's got th- the strength of the thing, yeah. allegedly, he just sort of taps it into the ground and it doesn't go in. He's like, in. what is this? And some guy, just some rando in the crowd's like, it's made of cement, you idiot. <laughs> you fucking muppet. <laughs> and he's he like, no matter. <laughs> so he uses Johnny Storm's firepower yeah. to drill a hole. Yeah. But we don't see him put the flag in no. at any point. At one point, it cuts to a news report of this guy. Yep. And he's just standing around. Yeah. Flag's gone. <laughs> What's he up to? What's this guy up to? <laughs> I don't know. What's this guy up to? Uh, I wrote this quote down. This is what Mr. Fantastic says when he turns up. So there you are, whoever you are. <laughs> nice. Good. Yep. Uh, Reed's going to punch him, but the guy grabs a dome from a neighbouring building and Reed hits that. And he's like... My arm, it's numb. Mm. He immediately is down on his knees. He's yeah. out for the count. This this show is great for, if you didn't quite know what was happening, from a visual standpoint, yeah. the characters will tell you everything they're doing and thinking and, and, and what they're going to do. Luckily, the thing busts him, and with his brute strength, they have a, a bit of a, a punch on. Uh, and then he goes, the thing, I'm going to stop you, and the way I'm going to do that is, I'm, I choose to become a battering ram. <laughs> and his head turns into... A ram's head? Yes. And he battering rams him off the building. Yeah. And the thing catches the spire on top of a different building. Is it the Empire State Building? It's Yeah, sure. Oh. I mean, I don't know what anything's supposed to look like in yeah, this right. cartoon. <laughs> Let's say that it is. Uh-huh. So this is the point where the scroll starts using different powers against the Fantastic Four than the powers that they have. Like, he's not just using the flame powers on Johnny Storm. Although he does that. He, he does gets that, him a yeah. bloody ripper. I thought they wouldn't do it. Me too. So kudos... For thinking outside the box is what I'm saying. And then an arrow hits them, but they're like, where did that flame arrow come from? (laughs) Mm -hmm. This guy has has three of our powers. Yes. But but that's it, it would seem. I mean, of the three of us, us three amazing (laughs) superheroes and adventurers, he's used all our powers and now he's gone. (laughs) He's invisible, but he's not really invisible because... He's holding a flaming bow. He's holding a flaming bow. I love this bit, though, where the the Super Skrull explains, he's like... Don't you see that I have all of your powers? We know. (laughs) They probably know too. They know now. They know now. (laughs) They definitely know at this point. They decide to run home to the the Baxter building. Cowards. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Waiting for an attack. The thing's looking out there with a little telescope. Uh I'm sure Reed would probably have some Moshe sensor shit set up, but I guess not. Just get the thing on a little telescope. Just yeah. looking out one side of the building. <laughs> you'll probably see probably this. Probably in- come from the yeah, left. You'll probably see this invisible man approaching. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so Reed's working on a plan. Here we because go. Because what they need to do is get someone invisible, but who? <laughs> to sneak up. <laughs> to uh-huh. sneak up. Yep. Uh-huh. And- what about a man? What about the thing in a sheet? Just cover him in oh, a yeah. sheet and he could walk up slowly. No, but he couldn't see out of the sheet. Cut holes in the sheet. That's good. Thank you. Why didn't they do that? Yeah, right? It makes a lot more sense. I mean, the three of them. Of the, I mean, he could, you know, he's... he's of the three Fantastic Four. Then he, he could, he's obviously the most capable, you know? I agree. Yeah. But it turns out that the Super Skrull is getting his powers from back on the planet of Skrullios. Skrullos. Skrullos. Yes. I'm going to look that up. <laughs> they're, they're beaming the powers to him. So this, if they get this receiver on him, it will jam the powers. Yes. Yeah. Anyway, they need to get him to a secluded spot. Crater right. Island, it's called. Uh-huh. So Reed sends out his public address system, which is a box with a megaphone on it. <laughs> it's a just, flying box. Which, yeah, sorry. Which, He's a genius. Yeah. It's not just a box. He doesn't mail it out. <laughs> which, <laughs> which yells instructions. To yes. that at the Super Scroll to, to, to visit this place. And he's like, yeah, all right, I'll do it. I'll meet you at this crater island on your mm. Earth world. Uh, so anyway, they increase the Scroll's powers from planet Skrullos. Yeah. Pull, just, he's just pulling this one lever. He's yeah, like, right. yeah, it's at max. Muscledorf or whatever says yeah, do it, sure. and he does it. They can't make a bloody dent in him. The thing's hitting away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Johnny Storm gets knocked down. He's shooting his fire at him. That's not working. It's not working. The bloody Mr. Fantastic's getting his big old fists going. Yeah. That's not wound. And that's it. that's all the Fantastic Four, that's all you know? That's can do, unfortunately. It's all three of the Fantastic Four. That's all their powers. Luckily, we don't know who the receiver just appears on this 
Mm. The Super Skrull. Yeah. It's somebody, I, we don't know who, someone invisible, or maybe the wind caught it. Wind and, probably and, caught and, it, yeah, <laughs> out of the fantastic car and, and, and just landed just on his landed back. Just landed on yeah. him. So it, it, it blocks his powers. Mm. So he goes to use his Johnny Storm powers, but he can't. And the Skrulls back home, they're furious. They're mate. ropeable. <laughs> yeah. And Ben beats the shit out of him. Yep. And he's like, I'll escape. He turns into a bird. A blue That's bird, right. And he flies up and he's like, I'm out of here. But then... Reed Richards, Richards just catches like, him with a big... catching birds, mate. Yeah. yeah. And what I would have loved then is just a 10-minute sequence where the Fantastic Four just beat him up. <laughs> He's powerless on the ground and they just beat him up. They beat him senseless. That's a good just point. beat him up. Just beat him They'd up be like, a lot. if you come back, we will beat you up again. <laughs> Reed grabs him. And he's like, spare me. And they're like, oh, what are we, we going to do? And he's like, I want to live. I don't, but I don't, I can't go back to the Skrull home world. They don't like me because I'm bad at this thing that I'm supposed to sure, be doing yeah. or whatever. Uh-huh. And they're like, I know what we'll do. We'll blot out his memory. Mm. And not only that, uh, we'll get him to change into a cow. Now he's so, permanently a cow permanently on a, a deserted cow. island where there's no food or resources. <laughs> he's going to die on that island and soon. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Also, a cow, not a bull, just to be clear. <laughs> yes. But also, if you can blot out his memories, just blot out he's a bad guy. Yeah. Look, man, it's not that bad. It's, it's kind pretty of, bad. It's kind of funny. I liked it. <laughs> yeah. I it, was... it wasn't intentionally funny, though. No, definitely. No, none of these. I don't think there was an intentional joke in it. Mm. Uh, but a lot of it was very humorous to me. And I would recommend whatever this show is called in whatever year it came out. The Skrulls originate from the planet of Skrullos. Yes. And were originally a mercantile civilization, primarily interested in free trade. Nice. Yeah. Anyway, this has been Caravan of Garbage. We do this here every Tuesday, but there's also videos here on Sunday and Thursday. Yeah. And listen up. Ooh. There's an extended version of this below if you want to check it out. Uh, look, if you've got something to recommend for Caravan of Garbage, it might be a video game. It might be a comic book. It might be a movie. It oh, might be movie. a wonderful show from the 60s. Oh, please. There's yeah. got to be some. There's got to be some hidden gems from the '60s. We also have a podcast called The Weekly Planet, where we talk movies and comics and TV shows. This is it. That's out every Monday. We're definitely not a Captain Marvel episode. You know it. We hope you bloody swing by for that. Mm, swing you know, by just like Captain Marvel. That's very good. You know, yeah. like swinging on her webs. I understand. It's that. Captain Marvel, right? I like her cape. Me too. Anyways, have a good time, everybody. Grab that gem, you guys. We'll see you next week. A goodbye and God bless. Oh, unless you don't believe in that, that stuff, then Xenu be with you. Hey, cool cats. <laughs>